Good morning, everybody. Book number 38 is super special. I've been looking for my copy of this book and I couldn't quite find it and I found it. So even though it's not Christmas anymore, I'm going to read this super special book because it's written by somebody I know and some of you know extra well. This is Gwen and Teddy's other grandpa, Jeff Carnell, and his super special story, That Special Starry Night by Jeff Carnell. One name on the book, so he did all the story parts and all the pictures. And Grandma particularly likes the border because it looks like a quilt. And you know how much I like to make you guys quilts. The Special Starry Night by Jeff Carnell. And he used all the paper in here to keep making pictures. Ooh. Who do you see? Look at all the snow snowmen. These snowmen look like shepherds, and these snow things look like sheep. Most authors put a dedication into their book something special they want to remember and I don't normally read those to you but I'm gonna read this one to my incredibly creative sons Ben Jonathan and Adam true believers of that special starry night and you guys know Adam either as daddy or uncle Adam this is uncle Adam's daddy that wrote the book that special starry night the Christmas Story, retold and illustrated by Jeff Carnell. Hey, look at what those ornaments on the tree look like. Look, there's a family getting ready for Christmas. There's Gwen and Teddy's Grandma Janet. And this is Teddy and Gwen's Uncle Ben and Uncle Jonathan. And that's supposed to be Uncle Adam. This is a story that Grandpa Jeff is telling about when the family was much younger. On a chilly December night, the wind swirled around freshly made snowmen. Inside the home was cozy and warm, filled with the sweet smells and sounds of Christmas. As the children hung their favorite ornaments on the tree, Dad said, Let me tell you the story of what happened on a very special starry night. These guys are supposed to look like Roman soldiers, and he's the one reading the decree from Caesar Augustus. I like the snowmen's beards that are hung on with the strings. It's pretty cool. Over 2,000 years ago, Caesar Augustus ordered all people in the Roman Empire to be counted. Everyone was to travel to the birthplace of their family. There's Grandpa Jeff telling the story to Ben and Jonathan and Adam. Adam's taller than Grandpa Jeff now. So are Ben and Jonathan. Be hard for Grandpa to do that now. He has to use Teddy and Gwen. Oh. Who are the snowmen being now? There's even a snow donkey. So Joseph traveled to Bethlehem because King David was his ancestor. He took Mary with him, for they were pledged to be married. Mary was expecting a baby who would be born very soon. And I like the... Looks like the ornament he put in there of Mary on the donkey.
do you think this snowman is doing? What part of the story is that? When Mary and Joseph finally reached Bethlehem, they were both very tired. But every inn or hotel was filled. There was not even one empty room. So this is the innkeeper saying, no room at the inn. Finally, they found a stable where they could stay, and on that night, my favorite starry night, the baby was born. Mary carefully wrapped the baby in cloths and placed him in a manger filled with warm straw. Like the snow chicken in there. Look at all the cute snow sheep. And we're seeing the ornaments from the tree to remind us. Meanwhile, in the grassy fields outside Bethlehem, there were shepherds watching over their flocks by night. All of a sudden, an angel appeared to the shepherds and said, Don't be afraid. I have happy news for you. Tonight, a Savior has been born for you and all people. His name is Jesus, and you will find him wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, the shepherds saw many more angels singing praises to God. The angels were saying, Glory to God in the highest, and peace to all people on earth. After the angels had left them and gone back to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see for ourselves what God has told us. Look, the snow shepherds are hurrying. So the shepherds hurried away to Bethlehem. They couldn't wait to see the newborn shepherd, baby, Savior. When the shepherds arrived, they found the stable inside and they saw Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger, just as the angels said. The shepherds were so excited, they rushed out to tell everyone about the baby, the newborn Savior. Then the shepherds returned to the flocks, rejoicing and singing praises to God for the things they had seen and heard. Because people must know about Jesus. People must know.
Dad stopped to gaze at the twinkling Christmas tree. He asked his family, who can you tell about Jesus' birth on that special starry night? And everyone smiled. Look at all the friends they told to come see. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him will not die, but have everlasting life. The Special Starry Night by Jeff Carnell.